Lakeshore, and welcome to A Week in Review, where we take a look at some stories you might have missed this week. Live music is coming back to eastern Wisconsin, and in a big way. While the Wharf has already had a few bands, there are more scheduled throughout the summer, Metro Jam has announced their lineup. Alt-country rockers Sun Volt have been announced as the headliners for that event, while the Wild Center have a couple of major acts coming to downtown Sheboygan as well. Josh Turner and the Oak Ridge Boys have some dates on the schedule in early fall. We also learned that the kids from Wisconsin have a couple of shows in eastern Wisconsin this summer. The kids will perform their live show, Live in Living Color, at Washington Park in Manitowoc and the City Park Band Shell in Sheboygan Falls. Longtime athletic director, coach, and administrator in the Michigan School District, Terry Risch, has announced her retirement. Her final day will be June 30th, and Risch said she will remain active with the Lakeshore All Sports Hall of Fame, of which she is a member. A bar located near downtown Manitowoc is directly responsible for saving nine dogs from a kill shelter in Texas, according to the Lakeshore Humane Society. The local pet shelter thanked Ann from Digger Daves for the donation, which they said covered the cost of transportation and the pull fees for all nine canines. And on the sports front, two seniors at Manitowoc Lincoln High School have been honored by WOMT Radio. Lauren Bouchard and Sam Jacobson received the WOMT Female and Male Senior Athletes Awards during a virtual presentation Wednesday evening in the Lincoln Auditorium. You can always find more local news online anytime at cafernews.com. And before we go, See Hafer Broadcasting would like to wish everybody a happy Memorial Day weekend. While it's easy to simply kick back and enjoy some time with friends or family, it's also very important to remember exactly why the holiday exists. On a personal note, I would like to honor the memory of Corporal Justin Ross, who was killed in action on March 26, 2011. Corporal Ross was from Howard and was a funny, sociable individual. He affected the lives of many people in a very positive way and is still missed to this very day. Have yourself a fantastic weekend. We'll see you next week.